Imagine a life where all your hopes and dreams come true. Heck of a bull, man. Oh. Where somehow you find your way. Oh my gosh, there he is. <laughs> if it was only that easy, but something so glorious could never come for free. It takes sacrifice and determination. I say that life is too short not to do what you love every single day. And I say it's too short not to spend it with the one you love. We're Cody and Kelsey Robbins. And we live to hunt. Kelsey just shot a boy for a ball boat. I was like, I couldn't see him. Give me the crossbow, I'll shoot him. Awesome, Buck. Nice. <laughs> what a baby. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, ah! Look at this. Look how big he is. How exciting was that? How exciting was that? Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey Robbins. Hunting season, a 120 day marathon to try and produce enough footage to solidify a future in the lifestyle we love. Something that's not possible without dear friends helping you. Blood, sweat and tears go into trying to capture just a handful of big moments to justify our efforts. Every season that we succeed ensures one more chance to follow our dreams for another year. One of the biggest moments that stands out for me in this past season is the afternoon a beautiful mountain grizzly bear buzzed our cabin in the Yukon. I had a grizzly tag, but just one day before, Jim Shockey shot the last bear on the quota for the season, so I had to let him go. Hey bear. calling from the cabin in that grizzly bear. I think he was stalking, thinking it was a, a cow moose. He just walked by us at like 12 yards. He's honestly 16 yards right there. He walked right through camp. Letting that beautiful bear pass by after swallowing six grizzly tags in a row stung a lot. Partnering it with not seeing a mature moose in nine days after dreaming about this hunt for a year cut even deeper. But who knew what was in store for me on the last day of our hunt in the Yukon? Get down, get down. There's a big bull bull. Our wind is brutal. Oh, the wind's really bad. The wind's really bad. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Rage, leading the evolution in lethal technology, Bowtech and Squincher, Primos and 10 Point Crossbow Technologies.
end is really bad. Ready? Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's the last day, and I've been to the Yukon, I don't know how many times. I have a row of Alaskan Yukon moose tags on my wall, and I've never shot, I've shot beautiful moose, and I can't be ungrateful, but I've never shot the moose that I've dreamt of. And that's him, that's him. Put it there, buddy. <laughs> he's, a, he's everything I've ever dreamed of in a bull moose. <laughs> everything bone. <laughs> oh. Since I started hunting when I was a little boy, I've tried to envision the day I would connect on a world-class Alaskan Yukon moose. There's an old saying, anticipation is much greater than realization. This moment blew that saying out of the water. The feeling that I had admiring this beautiful creature is something I will never ever forget. Arriving home from the Yukon, I took a young lady hunting that had never spot and stalked muleys before, Miss Hunter Frankfurt. This is another one of those moments that justifies every ounce of effort you put into something, trying to achieve something great. He was like 12 yards away. Forget 20. Forget 20. Put your cape on, girl. Give me a hug. You are a superhero. Oh my gosh. Holy. Look at his points. They're sharp. He's just, and... he's just coming out of Velvet Hunter. Yeah. Holy man. He's nice. Pretty special moment for Hunter to get her very first muley buck with a bow and arrow. Yeah. What was going through your mind when I was rattling and shaking you saying, stand up and shoot him, stand up and shoot him. Keep calm. <laughs> <laughs> There's a buck right there, two bucks. Whole oh, big frame, brand new buck. Huge frame. Look at that. How can you come to a spot a hundred times and you see him now? 
giant mule deer bucks like this are my life. Having the chance to hunt this monster typical muley with my brother was an ultimate high that I can't even explain. Right there, Brad. Stand up and shoot him. Stand up and shoot him. Which one is he? On the right. You drilled him. You drilled him. Brandy, you just center punched him. Brand, I love you, big brother. I oh. got rose bushes stuck in my feet. It's not about the rose bushes, brother. It's about the biggest mule deer buck you've ever seen in your life. Are you kidding me? He's awesome. Holy. Brand, oh my God. Are you kidding me? Kawaiians, brother. This deer is outrageous. His frame, turn back to the center. His frame is absolutely enormous. And I grabbed Brand, I said, take your shoes off. We're going over that hill. Go slow because you can't make too much noise, but hurry the heck up. Yeah, it says go slow, but hurry up. <laughs> we come over the rise and we peek over the rise. I'm like, just stand up and shoot him, stand up and shoot him. He gets up on the sticks and drills him at like 135 yards. Well, the scope was at three. I didn't know which one it was. All I could see was deer. He's awesome. Thank he is much. amazing. Brand, I love you, bud. Thank you very much, Kelsey. This portion of Live to Hunt is brought to you by Prophet River Firearms, your source for the finest firearms, and Sugar Creek Taxidermy, award-winning design. Somebody has to wash the windows. The best eyes in the vehicle are stuck in the back with three ounces of Chester's nose slime on the inside and six pounds of bug guts and mud on the outside. Shane, would you wear a bikini when you're washing my truck for me? Maybe. <laughs> oh, Shane. Shane. What? What the? Oh, oh there's a streak. Oh. Between a hormonally imbalanced wife and fuzzy little mice in our blinds, hunting season was keeping me on my toes. That's it. What? Don't move. It's right by your foot. No. No. Don't move. He's on your hair body suit. No, he's not. Just hold still. lot of great friends and hunting partners, but I value the time I spend with Kels the most. Throughout this hunting season, I had to spend 90% of it without her because of a rough pregnancy. The rare moments that I did get to spend with her, I cherished. I've never seen anyone have such tough luck as she does when it comes to hunting. She hunted part-time all year without connecting on a single animal right down to the last week of the season and only days before our first baby was scheduled to arrive. Dreamed I'd be hunting within five days of my due date. With just minutes left in what was probably the last day she would get out hunting, this ancient old buck came over the rise.
stuff. You got him, babe. Yes. You got him. You got him. Kills. Kills. Good job. Holy man, my heart is pounding, and I'm trying so hard to keep the calm so I don't go into labor. Beautiful deer. I love those brows. To connect with a buck like this, of this caliber, four days before the season closes and four days before our little baby's gonna be here, hopefully, not longer. <laughs> Who knows, he might be two weeks overdue. It's pretty special. He's a pretty special buck. It is, girl. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. And I can't wait for our next chapter in life coming right away. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion. It's an obsession. Stealth Cam ZX7 series. The game has changed. Heater bodysuit. You stay warm or your money back. Block targets and Vortex. Thompson Center and Black Eagle Arrows. Four oh one a.m. on December sixteenth. It's a Monday morning. The exact same day that Kelsey was going to get induced. She hadn't had her baby yet, and her contractions are four minutes apart. You having one right now? I just had one. It's over already? Over already? Like the contraction. Sorry. Kelsey and I both had been waiting our entire lives for this drive to the hospital. I know myself, I have lived a wonderful life, but the only thing that's really been missing is the chance to be a daddy. It's uh, quarter after 5 p.m. Kelsey's getting some rest. She's got an epidural. She's happy, happy now. No baby yet. Whoever said this was fast? How long did it take to have your babies? Oh, fast. 12 hours total for four babies. Come on. No. Total? Yeah. Total? Yeah. You didn't pass that genetic on or what? No, I guess she didn't get that. Oh no. It's 835. She's fully dilated. <laughs> Can't say a whole bunch more, I'll lose my voice. <laughs> when you've already waited nine months, or even a lifetime to meet your new best friend, every hour that ticked by seemed like a century. And Cody, your job's going to be to stand where mom is, and you're going to reach behind her head and you're gonna help just kind of embrace her head. And when she's getting a contraction, I want you to push it forward so she tucks her chin to her chest, okay? It's coming, baby. It's coming. Come on, come on, come on. more. Yeah, there you perfect. Go. Oh, yeah. Push, 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 push. Okay, you got one more. Yeah. One more. Again. Regroup, come back. Get mad. Push it out. Hard as you can. Hard as you can. That's it. Push. Yeah, yeah. Push. Okay, come back. Don't take long. So close. Yeah. Push everything you got. There you go. Push. Excellent. Push. Push. That's the best one. Okay, one more. One more. One more. Here we go. This is it. Same way. Push. Push. One more. Give us one more. One more. There you go. There you go. Yeah, we're gonna just make her cry. She is eight pounds. Oh my December 16th, 2013, the day Berkeley Georgia Robbins was born. By far the biggest moment of the year and the greatest day of our lives. I thought I knew what love was before this day. Not even close.
Join Cody and Kelsey on Facebook for live updates and in-field photos from the Live to Hunt team. Go to livetohunt.com to order the latest in Live to Hunt apparel, DVDs, and other merchandise. Next week's previews are brought to you by Squincher, hydration that works. Next week we are headed to goat country with my very good friend Joel Wilkinson of Caesar Lake Outfitters. A summertime challenge to pull a giant billy out of rough, unforgiving country in the wildlands of the Yukon Territory. This hunt for one of the most magnificent creatures in North America is one you don't want to miss. See you next week.